Hello, my name's Kev. Welcome to KG Graves the one-on-one -on -one series. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. A big thank you to all of you who are already subscribed. This is number 36, Richard Todd at St Guthlac Churchyard in Little Ponton, Lincolnshire. Richard Todd was most well known for his role in the Dam Busters, a depiction of the daring British raid against the raw dams, an event which is reenacted for its 65th anniversary 18 months ago. But he was as much known as a war hero as he was an actor. As a paratrooper in the British 6th Airborne Division, he was one of the first men to jump out of the plane on D-Day in 1944 and went on to fight for Pegasus Bridge. 18 years later, he played his own real-life captain, Major John Howard, in the film epic The Longest Day, with another younger actor playing Richard Todd. Richard Andrew Palethorpe Todd was born on the 11th of June 1919 in Dublin, Ireland. He was an Irish-British actor. Upon leaving school, he trained for a potential military career at Sandhurst before beginning his acting training at the Italia Conti Academy in London. This change in career led to estrangement from his mother. When he learned at the age of 19 that she had committed suicide, he did not grieve very long. He first appeared professionally as an actor at the Open Air Theatre Regent's Park in 1936 in a production of Twelfth Night. He also appeared as an extra in British films including Good Morning Boys 1937, A Yank at Oxford 1938 and Old Bones of the River 1939. Richard enlisted soon after the outbreak of the Second World War, entering the Royal Military College Sandhurst in late 1939. On the 29th of January 1941, he was one of 26 cadets injured when D block of the new college was hit by a German bomb in an attack by the Luftwaffe. In his memoirs, he describes seeing the bomb pass through the ceiling in front of him before he was blown out of the building by its blast, landing on a grass bank and suffering lacerations. Five cadets were killed in the incident. He passed out in the spring of 1941, completing the course. On the day he received his commission, he tried to join several friends at the Café de Paris in London, but could not get a table booking for the evening. That evening the venue was destroyed in an air raid, and 15 newly commissioned subalterns were killed. On the 6th of June 1944, he participated in Operation Tonga, during the D-Day landings. He was among the first British soldiers to land in Normandy and the first Irishman. His battalion parachuted after glider-borne forces had landed to capture the Pegasus Bridge near Cairn. During the operation he met Major John Howard on the bridge and was involved in helping to repulse counter-attacks by the Heer forces in the area. Five days after D-Day, while still in the bridge defence area, he was promoted to captain. Richard later played John Howard in the 1962 film The Longest Day, recreating these events. After VE Day, the division returned to the UK for a few weeks, then was sent on counterinsurgency operations in Palestine. During this posting he was seriously injured when his jeep overturned, breaking both shoulders and receiving a concussion. He returned to the UK to be demobilised in 1946. After appearing in many stage plays, he was cast in the film The Hasty Heart alongside Ronald Reagan and Patricia Neal. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for the role in 1949. He was also voted favourite British male film star in Britain's National Film Awards. The film was the tenth most popular movie at the British box office in 1949. After appearing in many films, far more popular was the title role he played in Walt Disney's The Story of Robin Hood and His Merry Men, 1952. 
In 1953, he appeared in a BBC television adaptation of the novel Wuthering Heights as Heathcliff. Even more popular was The Dambusters 1955, in which Richard played wing commander Guy Gibson. This was the most successful film at the British box office in 1955 and became the defining role for his movie career. Other feature films he appeared in were The Longest Day 1962 and Operation Crossbow 1965. In TV he appeared in Silent Witness, Murder She Wrote and the Doctor Who story, Kinder, in 1982. Richard was awarded an OBE in 1993. He was also the subject of This Is Your Life on two occasions, the first by Eamon Andrews in March 1960 and the second by Michael Aspel in November 1988. He was the first choice of author Ian Fleming to play James Bond in the film Doctor No, but a scheduling conflict gave the role to Sean Connery. During his career, Richard appeared in 50 films. In his personal life, Richard was married twice, both ending in divorce. His first wife, actress Catherine Grant Bogle, was married to him from 1949 to 1970. They had two children together, a son Peter born in 1952 and a daughter Fiona. In 1960 he had a son Jeremy Todd Nelson with model Patricia Nelson. His second marriage was to model Virginia Mailer from 1970 until 1992. They had two sons. Andrew and Seamus. Two of his five children died by suicide. In 1997, Seamus shot himself in the head at a family home in Lincolnshire. And in 2005, Peter killed himself with a shotgun in East Malin, Kent. Richard died on the 3rd of December 2009 in his sleep of cancer at the age of 90 and is buried between his two sons, Seamus and Peter. Let's see where his grave is located.
So there you have it, the grave of Richard Todd, actor. If you have enjoyed watching this video, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.